What's up, guys? Uh, it's me again. So, I noticed the other day, and I'll put a tag on here for gum erosion. A lot of people ask about labret piercings and the erosion of the gum line. Well, it's finally started to happen. So, um, I don't know if you can see this right here. Not really well, obviously. Um, but there is... Um, a little bit of gum erosion on on the uh, on this tooth here it's not so much wearing away the front part it's actually digging a deeper um, I guess pocket uh, of the gum line uh, in, in my one front tooth uh, and I've talked to some uh, people in the industry who know way more than I do um, about this kind of thing uh, and basically they told me lose the piercing or lose your teeth so um, I really want to keep my piercing I'm not <laughs> which means I'm not, no I'm not sacrificing my teeth uh, but what the, the thing is is that if the gum if the if the jewelry is um, Touching the gum in any way, shape, or form, this is going to happen. So um, I got this piece from Aesthetics. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but uh, I got this piece from Aesthetic Aesthetics, and I'm going to show you what I did um, to basically elite, uh, alleviate the issue. At least for now, it seems like it's working. I haven't had any gum irritation or any pain since I did this. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, it may or may not work for you. It seemed to have worked for me, but um, I'll show you. Hold on one sec. So what I did was I created a pocket. I don't know if you can see this there. I really dug deep into um, the jewelry. Um, if you can see, I actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there is actually a custom, oh, maybe yeah, this way. There's a custom slant in this piece that I did on my own. Um, I had to carve it myself. Um, in order to make it work properly uh, with my natural anatomy, that was the only thing I could think of to to stop it from happening. I really wish I could give you a better shot of this. It doesn't really do a this this doesn't do it justice. This whole thing here, um, but um, I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, we'll see. I've cut my wings down. These little guys here, the edges, where the actual yeah, this guy here and this guy here. I I I filed them down. A lot from the original piece. Um, I don't know if that was necessarily the right thing to do. Um, they they're 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 very small now and almost want to dig in. Um, I find myself taking my jewelry out a lot more, um, but it it was a lot of um, hit and miss. I, I really I I never had a problem until I switched to this large of a piece of jewelry. I don't know if it was just a long time coming kind of a thing, but it's happened, needless to say. Uh, could be the angle of the piercing, um, could be my anatomy, could be just the fact that I've reached a point where the jewelry is the size that it's going to bother my gums. Um, but I'm doing the best I can to get this to stop from happening. And I think I've, I think I've solved the problem. Um, my, my issue going forward is if I decide to get a nice piece of stone jewelry made or a nice piece of wooden jewelry made, um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, I, I would have to learn how to carve stone, I guess. Or, uh, I mean, luckily this is just a piece of, uh, of Teflon or, um, something uh i can't remember if it's delrin or teflon i'll be honest um 
they switched back and forth for a minute, so I'm not sure. Um, but give it a shot. Maybe it'll work for you. I don't know if anybody's even having this problem other than me. I'm sure there are. Um, but uh, the only way to get around it as far as going from like a, a metal post, uh, I, if you're at a small size and you're getting gum erosion, my suggestion would be exactly the, the suggestion given to me. Get rid of the jewelry. Like, just get rid of it. Um, there's really nothing you can do as far as metal goes. There's, it's just such a small piece. It's just going to rip your mouth apart. Um, so either get it, try to get it pierced at a different angle. Let it, let it close up, especially if it's starting to happen at, a, at an early rate. There's no way, um, even the small amount of erosion that I have, it's never going to go away. Um, it's never going to heal. It's never going to come back. Um, luckily, it's not that bad. I hope that in the future it doesn't cause problems with my uh, little bit of tooth that is showing now. I hope it doesn't cause a problem. I guess I'll keep you guys updated, but that's uh, some info on my end as far as uh, the saga of the large labrette piercing. Uh, any questions, go ahead. Do what you got to do, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.